In this video, we are going to witness the various ways of running an automation test script and understand the result displayed for the same. We will also demonstrate the execution of an automation test suite in this video. To start with the automation script execution, we can run the script at three different levels. That is, either at the step level, script level, or module level. To run the script on a step level, the user needs to make use of the run until button which is provided after every test step. Let's say, the user needs to run the test script till the sixth step. Click on the run until button provided for the step to initiate the script execution. The user can also run the automation script at a script level. Make use of the run button from inside the test script. To run scripts from a module level, head to the module tree and select the scripts or modules that are to be executed. Click on the run button from the module level and initiate the script execution. For this demonstration, we will go ahead and run an automation test script at a script level. Go to the desired script and click on the run icon. Message on the screen confirms the script execution. Observe the actions taking place. Once the execution is complete, Fireflink automatically populates the results at three separate levels. Firstly, we have results displayed for every step individually. The user can click on the step level result and understand the details of the step. Fireflink also displays a script level result, which gives over all script execution details of the automation test script. Now, we will demonstrate the execution of a test automation suite. Once the automation test suites are created, the user can execute the test suites on their local web browsers. In case there are a set of mobile scripts, the user can execute the test suite on a physical mobile device that is connected to the system, or they can even execute it on an emulator or a simulator. Additionally, Fireflink suites can even be executed on any third-party cloud device platform. Now, we will move on to the execution mechanism within the execution section. Click on the run icon to start with the configuration of the suite execution. Fireflink allows the user to choose whether the scripts are to be executed on a single machine in sequence or on multiple machines. If the user selects multiple machines, Fireflink allows suite execution in parallel or distribute the scripts amongst multiple machines for faster execution. If the user is distributing the suite execution, they can either perform manual distribution of scripts on machines, or they can allow Fireflink in itself to automatically distribute the suite between multiple machines. Here, Fireflink is implementing advanced AI features to optimally distribute a suite between multiple machines. The user can also configure the weight settings. Now, click on the result settings drop-down to capture screenshots post-execution. Select the desired radio button. To set the execution termination details, click on the drop-down. The user will get an option to terminate the script or the suite execution if it takes more than the set time. Once the user completes all the configurations, click on the run button to trigger the suite execution. Fireflink also allows the user to schedule the suite execution. Once the automation test suite has been created, click on the More icon from the Actions tab and click on Schedule. Upon clicking the Schedule option, the user will get to schedule the execution. The user has to enter the name of the scheduler and select the recurrence out of once, daily, weekly, and monthly. Enter the schedule date and time along with the execution's expiry date and time. Select the rest of the configurations and hit Schedule. This process will automatically schedule the suite execution at the set time interval. Fireflink also allows the user to trigger the execution of a suite from CICD platforms as well. Post the suite execution, the overall result will be displayed for the suite. Click on the result displayed to get into the detailed suite result. Further, you can roll down to view the module level result. Click on the result to get to the script level result. Once the script result is clicked, the user will get into the step level result and observe the results displayed at different levels. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, visit fireflink.com.
and schedule a free demo today.